Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be all about the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I got a sample the other day when I was in John Lewis in Blue Water and the lady was kind enough to give me a sample of the foundation as I was picking up my sample of the mascara from Influencer. She also gave me a sample of the primer as well, so we're going to be testing out the two together. So I've got the Invisible Primer, which is their coconut primer, and then I've got the Remarkable Foundation in the shade beige golden this is the shade she matched me to so i'm just going to run you through the skincare i've already applied don't worry this video is not going to be long i'm just going to be showing you how i apply the primer how i apply the foundation and i'm just going to be showing you quick which skincare i use so i just cleanse and tone my face how i usually do then i just applied my eye cream which is the tarte sea brighter maracuja eye cream i just applied that all under my eye area and a little bit onto my eyelids as I have very dry eyelids. Then I applied some of the Kills Daily Reviving Concentrate. I got a sample of this as well and I really like the smell of it actually. It's a very nice scent. Then I just applied my usual moisturiser which is the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Aloe Water. Now we're going to be moving on to the primer. So I'm just going to be opening the pot. It doesn't smell much so that's what it looks like. So just a sort of like a liquidy formula. I'm just going to be like dossing this around my face. I don't know how much to use because she didn't say with the primer. I just know I don't need much of the foundation. So I'm just going to blend that into my skin as I usually would with any other primer. It's very smooth. Oh, it's a lovely texture. Feels like you're just applying like another moisturiser onto your skin. It's lovely, especially if you have dry skin. Just pushing that all into my skin. So if you go to your local Marc Jacobs counter, I know there's not many in this country. By the way, my face might go a bit red because obviously I'm like pushing into my skin and then I'm just gonna like pat that into my skin. Yeah, there's not many Marc Jacobs counters around like England. She was saying I think there's only like 10 or 11 and so the blue water one is the one local to me because otherwise i'd have to go like into central london right i'm just gonna let that soak into my skin as you can see it makes my skin look quite glowy actually but that might be because i have the kills daily reviving concentrate on underneath so this is the foundation i know the foundation is very full coverage she did say not to apply it with a beauty blender as apparently the beauty blender will give you even more coverage and apparently this is like really full coverage she said it actually you can wear it on like a daily basis but I know that I wouldn't wear this on a daily basis I used to be all about high coverage and full coverage but nowadays I actually really love a natural finish to my skin especially at the moment as it's getting into winter I'm getting like really spotty skin and it's horrible so I'm going to be applying this with a brush I've got my favourite brush which is just by Jessup's this is just a brand off eBay I've used it for years I've probably had it about two or three years Morphe, Zoeva so many different brands do a brush like this I really need to get a new brush I want to get the Morphe M149 I think it's called but it's always out of stock so yeah I want to get that one next I'm then just going to take in case that one doesn't work I've got my Morphe E6 as well so I'm just going to use those two but she did say not to use a beauty blender because she was like she said it will make your skin like so full coverage she said it will like look too much so she said with a brush you get actually a really nice finish this is also a matte foundation as well and also obviously you could wear this I think well we're gonna find out my skin is very dehydrated especially in the winter so I would recommend like where I've put the daily reviving concentrate oil on from Kiehl's I would recommend putting an oil on underneath the foundation if you do want to wear this and you have dry skin so my face still feels like tacky but maybe that's just from the primer but that's sort of a good thing so i'm gonna wait a few more minutes the time is 12 38 so i probably won't wear this like i don't know how i'm just gonna go on their website okay so on their website it says it's a 24 hour foundation but i know that i'm not going to be wearing this for 24 hours because i've never worn makeup for 24 hours so yeah i'm gonna wear it as long as i can i'm gonna update you throughout the day so i'm gonna start applying it it does look very liquidy she did say that i will have to shake this because the bottle that comes in you shake it because it's pigment and i think it's water it's a bit like my dior air flash that's pigment and water or something like that and you have to mix them i'm just gonna like blend it a bit with my brush and i'm just gonna like mix it in 
and then with the foundation you can like dot it like with the actual i'll insert a picture of the actual foundation it comes with like a stopper and i think you can like dot it onto your face so that's what i'm going to do so i'm just going to use the end of my little concealer sort of brush this is just a brush from real techniques so i'm just going to dot this over my skin so I just do sort of two swipes in every area and then I'm not going to use that brush. I'm then just going to use the Jessup's brush and I'm just going to blend in sort of circular motions and buffing motions like I usually would. So I'm going to start by pushing it in. In a way I don't want to like this because it's really expensive. <laughs> How much is it? It's £37. So I'm just like circular motions. It's sort of a good day to test it when I have spots actually because you can test like the coverage of it. This shade was like a lighter shade out of the two because I did have like fresh tan on and my tan was like really dark because I hadn't washed the first like layer of it off. But this is quite a nice colour actually. I'm going to apply a bit more so I don't feel like I've applied enough. But remember that wasn't like a full pump or anything. This is just like a couple of swipes out of like a little tiny sample pot. I thought this would be quite a good review as well because then like with like something like this when like... I haven't actually bought it I can tell you at the end if I actually would think of like purchasing it because like by the end of the day normally I have to wear a foundation a couple of times to see if I like it because obviously like I'm using different products with it and like liquid highlighters and like powder highlighters how everything applies on top but so far I think it looks nice covering these spots well it's when I see some really bad spots I'm not putting it on my eyes because I never put foundation on my eyes only if I'm in a rush when I go to work but that's the only time I'm foundation like on my eyes and this will oxidize a bit as well because we did oxidize oxidize on my neck when we put it on my neck in store just applying a bit more there it's not like cakey either it's like a really nice it doesn't look too matte but again that might be because of the other products underneath it i really like the color it's not like too ashy but my neck is darker than my face anyway i'm gonna apply some over this spot because she tried this other one on me and it was actually quite funny because it literally went grey straight away. It hasn't covered like the redness around my nose. But I'm going to go back in with a bit more on my nose. See how it covers. So I'm going in with the second layer now. I'm going to zoom you in once I've done this part. So I'm just building that. Pressing it in. Okay, that's done quite nicely actually. It does look quite cakey around my nose. Sorry if I'm looking over it because I'm looking in my mirror. I don't apply foundation around my eyes because I apply concealer around those areas. And obviously if I applied foundation and then concealer on top of it, it would make it very cakey. And around the under eye and the eye area, you don't want it to be cakey because obviously like it's a very delicate area as it is. It's just going to look really dry and it's going to aid you. I don't don't uh, apply foundation around there. I leave that area blank. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I will be back, but I'm just gonna zoom you in. I'm gonna do like a flash test as well. Obviously I haven't powdered my skin, so if it does like give me a flashback, I won't be surprised because um, obviously this isn't set. But, so like, as you can see, she used quite a lot out of the tub but it's quite like liquidy so you do use i don't know i didn't use that much but i don't think there was that much in there to be honest because she did have quite a hard time getting it out of the bowl so <laughs> there's quite a lot in the primer one right so i'm gonna zoom you in i don't know if you can tell on camera my skin looks very like glowy round two looks like a really weird like color but it does look like really glowy but again her powdered around my nose it's really cakey build up a product I like the finish. I think the finish looks really nice. I think that would be like an everyday... See, it doesn't look heavy. The reason I didn't want to try this foundation was because like, everyone was saying it was like really heavy in that. But it doesn't actually look that heavy. It looks heavier than that Rimmel one that I wear. But I like it. So I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup. And I will be right back. Right, I've done the rest of my makeup. This is the foundation with the rest of my makeup done. The only powders I used was this Airspun one that I normally use. And then I just used the Maybelline Fit Me Powder because it has a little bit of colour to it because I noticed around my chin area you might be able to tell it went a bit grey the foundation the only sort of part of my face it went a bit sort of a funny colour I'll update you throughout the day of how it wears but I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day and see how it goes so I'll update you a little bit later on but yeah this is how it looks and I'll take some pictures with the flash on as well to see if it has any flashbacks so I'll update you in a bit but I did film this makeup as well I just didn't film the skin but I filmed the eyes so I will catch up with you later on. 
Hi guys, right, so I'm just updating you on the foundation. It is now 2016. I'm just gonna show you. So, as you will see, I'm so oily. The foundation's come off around my nose. I've had my glasses on, it's got all cakey. My forehead's oily, but I did apply that Kiehl's Daily Revive Concentrate. Just had my dinner, my lip gloss has come off too. Basically look a bit of a mess compared to earlier. It's gone into creases here it's creased like in here but again i use that kills daily reviving concentrate and i've never used it in a way i wish i didn't use it but my skin just looks very cakey and very patchy around here you might be able to tell like this is awful i never powder throughout the day either i expected it to be a tiny bit oily around my nose but not this oily like literally like this is horrible but i will i do want to give the foundation another go so i will be testing it with my beauty blender i know the lady in mark jacobs said not to but i do think like, like when you look at my chin it's so cakey it just looks awful the coverage has sort of gone to it's just all rubbed off in certain areas like my oily areas so i don't really see how this would work if you're oily. It's almost easy if, if you're dry as well because like this part around here look it's like all gone patchy so yeah and I've not even had it on for that long and it claims to be 24 hour wear. This is not 24 hour wear so I'm gonna take all this makeup off my face but I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm gonna update you in the description box because I'm gonna give this foundation another go with my beauty blender. I might film it, I might not but give this video a thumbs up if you liked it anyway and subscribe if you're not already. And if you've tried this foundation and you've got the same sort of skin type as me, so sort of dehydrated and oily in certain areas, so sort of combination, then let me know how you got on with it. Let me know what technique you tried, products. It might be just because of the Kiehl's Daily Arriving Concentrate, as I said. So I'm not sure. Let me know. And I did take pictures of the flash when I had no eye makeup on, but the picture didn't save. So I'll take a couple now and we'll see what it looks like. But yeah, that's all for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I will see you in my next one. Please let me know if you would like these reviews. The next review I was thinking of doing was either the Fenty Foundation or the Huda Beauty Foundation. I am leaning more towards the Huda Beauty Foundation, but I don't know. The Rihanna Foundation in 290 looks like a good colour for me. So please let me know of what you'd like to see. And I will see you in my next video. Just to let you know i did not powder this after i'd set it all in place maybe you could touch up a bit of powder i don't know but my other foundations that are cheaper than this considering this is 39 pound 37 pound whatever it was this i'm not impressed but i'm gonna give it another go because i'm not mean take care bye